In this video we're going to talk about the Smart Garden project in Grok. It's one of my favorites. I use it for my STEM Academy class where we monitor the temperature and the moisture levels in ground around our school. We then use these results to select a range of plants and trees that will be suitable for our school so we can increase the foliage and the amount of shade we have for our students. If you have access to Grok, I strongly encourage you to give this module, these modules of work a go. We're going to go straight to the sensor section and we're going to talk briefly about the microbit. So in this module, in these series of modules using the Smart Garden, we use the temperature sensor, which is what we're going to get straight into today, and we use the pins to monitor the moisture. Uh, we're going to talk briefly about brackets and first of all we're going to mention that the temperature is in Celsius. We are in Australia and we do Celsius. The temperature function, like all functions, comes with a pair of brackets. What's going on with these brackets? In Python, we often send a function some information which goes inside the brackets. For example, display.show needs to know what information to show on the display. And you tell it that by putting the name of the image inside the brackets. But the temperature function doesn't need any information to run. It just sends you back the reading from the temperature sensor. So, we still put brackets there, we just leave them empty. Part 1's covered. Now we're going to get into something interesting. We're going to start talking about integers. On the screen, we have display.scroll. We are familiar with display.scroll, and inside the brackets we have the word temperature, followed by the brackets, which should send back our temperature. However, when I press play, this will not work. Let's start talking about that. And let's read down here. It's really important. This is one of the key concepts you need to understand. It identifies the difference between integers and strings. So display.scroll is complaining. It can only scroll a string, which is a message, which is something that is exact and it's inside speech marks and doesn't know what to do with an integer. The temperature function works with integers. It sends back a whole number. It does not send back a string. Let's have a look at how we do this. So we have to convert our whole number into a string in order to send it and display it on the microbit. So to fix the pro problem, we use the str function to turn an integer into a string like this. So what's happening here is we've got the display.scroll method. Here we're using a function to turn a whole number into a string so that we can scroll it. So what this essentially does is it turns the result into a string, placing it into speech marks. So when we press play, it will show us the temperature. Wonderful. Next thing, brackets. I don't know about you, but when I was brought up, I was told to always close a door behind me. So if I open something, I close it. If I open a drawer, I close it. Let's click on our first bracket. You can see that when you click on one bracket, it links you to its counterpart, which is the closing bracket. Same goes for this one. 
and same goes for this one. My rule is, when you're using brackets, make sure you close it. I can't tell you how often I've seen students do this one where they forget that final bracket. It happens all the time. It's a very simple error and it's so easy to spot your mistakes. All you have to do is click on the bracket and you can see that there's no counterpart. So when I click on this one, it highlights its friend. When I click on this one, it highlights its friend. But this one, nobody's. So let's move on. So right now I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to create a program that scrolls the temperature when button A is pressed. I wish you luck. Don't forget to convert your temperature reading into a string so that you can scroll it. So let's have a look at the code on the screen. We've created a loop. We've used the display scroll function to access the temperature, which is sending back an integer. We're then using the str function to convert the integer into a string so that we can actually display it. If we wanted to add a button to this program, all we'd need to do is to go if button A is pressed and then we could move this forward then we could set our temperature to negative oops press play set it to negative 8 and then if we press button A it should say negative 8 because we're using degrees we could take it a little step further we could go display dot scroll and we could do Celsius so Celsius sorry degrees and we could add a temperature as well so display dot scroll and we can just T for temperature so it makes sense there you have it all right the next part of the smart garden project is to use probes to measure the soil and moisture so let's talk about this briefly. The microbit does not have a moisture sensor built in, but that's okay, it's easy to make one yourself. All we need is two metal sticks in the soil, so we need two nails, and we need two crocodile clips to connect from the nails to the microbit. Use the leads to connect the nails to the gold pins along the bottom edge of the microbit. You can see in the picture below how to connect your pins. So you've got pin zero, which is going to go to one nail, and then we've got the free volt, which is going to go to the other nail. That's all we need to do to get a soil moisture reading. Soil moisture sensors work by sending electricity through the soil from one probe to the other. If there's lots of moisture in the soil, the electricity can flow easily. But if the soil is dry, it's hard for the electricity to flow. With the nail probes connected to the pins, the microbit sends electricity through the soil from the free volt pin and then we read how much electricity we get at pin zero with the pin zero dot read underscore analog function. Here we have an example of this working. At the moment, we're getting a reading of 511. So let's talk about this very quickly. We're using display scroll function. We are getting our reading, our the amount of electricity that's passing from one pin to the free volt 
by using this function which is pin 0 which is why we've connected it to pin 0 we're reading an analog number again pay close attention to the brackets okay we also need to convert that number into a string so we can use it using the scroll function So what we have here is a pot plant and we have two probes going into the soil. The probes are connected to crocodile clips and the crocodile clips are connected to pin zero and to our free vault. At the moment the micro bit is displaying a neutral face but if we press button A it will display the temperature. Currently the temperature is 25 degrees. Now, most importantly, if we press button B, it's going to display the soil moisture. It's going to give a happy face, indicating that the moisture has an appropriate value. And it's going to give the actual moisture reading, which was 1023. That is our goal for the next couple of lessons. For the next couple of videos and I hope you enjoy using microbits to create real world digital solutions that we can use to improve our lives. Thank you.